Post-game highlights are presented by Kroger, the official grocer of your rail yard dogs. A red-hot rivalry in the Southern Professional Hockey League resumes on this Saturday night in the Star City as your Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs host the Knoxville Ice Bears on Superhero Night at Berglund Center. Levesque's got a breakaway chance, backhanded, goes right around Rodebush, and he scores. 17-39 to go in the first, and Knoxville leads one to nothing. Roanoke just completely lost sight of Levesque. He was wide open. And now we're going to get a scrap. It's Josh Nittenall taking on Cole McKechnie. Nittenall quickly takes him down, and he's smothering him down on the ice. Oh, my goodness. Josh Nittenall's first fight in two seasons. And Cole McKechnie was not avoiding that. Nittenall will clean up those hands and get this crowd on its feet. Rono conceding early. A bit of the juice out of the crowd. Cole McKechnie after one of the dirtiest hits I've seen in three years in this league on Dom Arsinkiewicz. Finally gets to pay the price. It's Josh Nittenall that catches him two quick times and then absolutely mulls him down to the ice. Down to McDade, far goal line. McDade dragging towards the net, backhand, he scores! Oh, and McDade backhands it top shelf, and we're tied one to one with 5.44 to go in the first. No problem, Owen. He gets his ninth of the year. Dropped up for McDade. McDade shot, he scores! Oh, and McDade, a back-to-back -back score from him. He's made it two to one with 4.25 to go in the first. Oh yeah, baby, Owen McDade rips it glove side. We've reached the end of the first period, and boy, it was an entertaining one. The dogs outshoot Knoxville 22 to six. Two Owen McDade goals after Rona went down by a goal and put the dogs in front two to one here at the first intermission. Senko won the draw. Center point, Roach's shot, he scores! Billy Roach blows the kiss to the family on family weekend. And we're tied at three. Two and a half minutes to go in the second. Well, Roanoke will still be on the power play when we start the third period. And it's tied up at 3-3 here at the end of 40 minutes. Goals by Knoxville, two of them put them in front. Billy Roach tied it back up for the rail yard dogs. Now Brett McCroach, his shot got through on Rodebush. He has scored. Four to three, Knoxville leads. 17-45 to go in the third. There's going to be a penalty coming as Alvo got knocked out. Then Roach comes against McKechnie here, sends him towards the Roanoke bench. Now Alvo's going to come right up towards McKechnie. They're going to get into it right at the benches, and it is right between the stanchions. It's a full-on brawl. McKechnie going with Alvo. Alvo's tossed his gloves. McDade and Stubbs are in there. Jansen and Price are the only ones not involved. Crazy how all last year I never saw anything like this from Cole McKechnie, and he has turned in to such a pump this year. Now Stanko, right wing circle, he scores! Roto on the power play has tied this game at four with 133 to go in regulation. Oh, he 
beat your heart out. It has been this way for the Rail Yard Dogs. It feels like all season. They get down in a crunch time and they just find a way. This one will at least prolong this game. It is four to four, 133 to go here in regulation. Over to Rolo from McKinney. That shot saved by Rodebush. Rebound chance, backhanded in and scored. Knoxville has won this game in overtime. Five to four on the rebound chance for Dawson McKinney. Post game highlights are presented by Kroger, the official grocer of your rail yard dogs.